Hello everybody and welcome back, it's me, Shwingy, and welcome back to the mansion! Today's room that we're working on was requested by Mistress Jin. She's requesting a gaming or arcade room. I do know that The Sims 4 did introduce consoles, so we might also do like a bunch of uh, gaming PCs as well, because wouldn't that be great? But I figure I will dedicate the room next to the library right here to the actual room. I don't know if I'll use the whole area, but that's really gonna depend on like what gaming items will be available. I also would like to include I believe there's like some fairy statue I recall seeing. Mistress Jen on Twitter likes to post up right before she goes to bed these really beautiful fairy pictures. So I kind of want to somehow find a way to incorporate that into the room as well. Oh, hackleberries. These are kind of pretty. I guess that they look kind of like the rupees from uh, all of the Zelda games. Why don't we use this? Do I want to use the entirety of this room though is the question. Let's do one of these. Make sure it reaches. Okay. And then for the time being, just so I know what it is I'm thinking of doing, we're gonna put this here. And do I want a door to the gaming room or would I want it to be open? I feel like that really depends on the gamer because I'm used to seeing gamers where it's like the doors closed, there's signs all over it that says, do not enter gamer at work, killing bosses, you know, running away from ghosty things that don't actually exist and whatever. Doesn't help, this room is kind of awkwardly shaped because of this corner over here that I'm refusing to fix. Because I've already decided just to stick with it. I, mm, Whatever, we'll, we'll make it work. I feel like no one in their right mind would keep something like that. They would just close it off and make it an actual right triangle. But I am trying, I am trying to not, like, do such Prussian things because I love my right angles and everything. And I'm trying, to, I'm trying to not stay in a comfort zone. I'm trying to break out. Cautionary. Oh, wait, I think I found the door. Look at this. Look at this door. Ah, oh, God. Look at this door. Tell me that's not perfect for, like, a gaming room. <laughs> like, it's so... It's perfect. Does it come in other colors? It can come in black. I kind of like, like, the brown, though. That is so beyond... What is it? Oh my god, that's a gaming door. No, do not enter. Enter at own risk. And here it is, the arcade gaming room. I really love how this turned out. I didn't realize just how much gaming stuff I actually had that I could throw in here, and I really love how it turned out. I have no idea what this console thing is that my uh, Sims is checking out. I want this, okay? This is the coolest gaming, like, VR, Tony Stark kind of thing. I want it. And as with any elite gaming room, you have to have the biggest flat screen TV available to you. I also have it surrounded by the comfiest couch and armchairs available with another form of console and I do have tablets about so you, if you don't want to be on the big screen you just want something a little private to yourself, there you go. And of course, I do have the gaming PCs. I've got exactly two with the most high-endest possible PC available. Plus, I noticed that Baby Yoda was in there. You can't not have Baby Yoda. Everybody's all about the Baby Yoda. Plus, they put up like a bunch of stickers and 
designed posters, and stuff that really looks like things that you would find in a gamer's room. Like, I used to have a lot of posters all over the place. Um, it, it just kind of screams that gamer energy. I also went ahead and put in vending machines. My thought behind this was, yeah, you'll be paying for it, it'll be a lot cheaper, but like, maybe by the end of the month or something, you take all that money together and you can go buy another game or something, or get an upgrade for the gaming room itself. And I love this door. I know I already ranted and raved about it, but this is such a gamer door, it's hilarious. Where do you think you're going? Play with the arcade. You're not leaving. That and I and I did manage to find a fairy statue, which I figured with the other like gaming paraphernalia in here, like this is a tentacle thing wrapped around a staff or whatever. You can get away calling it a gaming thing. Maybe it's Navi from Zelda. We don't know. And the lights, I still think, are very cute. They they definitely look like rupees or something that you'd find in the gaming world of some kind. Now, as for the color scheme, I wanted something bright and poppy. Didn't realize that I had this style of wallpaper or this flooring, and it really worked. I was surprised, because like it's not something I would choose for myself, but as for a gaming room, it's perfect. Yellow is a very bright and happy energetic kind of color, but with the nice splotches of gray and black, it kind of brought it all together, and I really enjoyed it. Just realized is that this clock, which just screamed gaming to me, I didn't realize it was digital and moving. Look at this. That is so perfect for a gaming room. I love it. And that is the gaming room. Mr. Shin, thank you so very much for your request. I hope you enjoyed. I had so much fun putting together the gaming room. I really think it came together, ultimately. And with that being said, I am still taking requests, so if you have a request, a theme in mind, anything, please let me know down in the comment section below. Please check the description first, because I am keeping a running list of everybody that has put in a request and requests that I have completed up to this point. There's so many other kinds of themes that I could throw in here. We could do like a mad scientist thing, we could do vampires, I could do a bowling alley. There's all kinds of stuff in here that I could do. I literally have every kit and pack available. So put your requests in. I would love to make them come true. So thank you all so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and let's hear them. This mansion is gorgeous. Even more gorgeous now that it has a gaming room. Battle cries. Woo! Yeah! I'll see you guys in the next episode.